Let's don't move. So tell me, uh, what kind of company would you like to work for in San Francisco? Well, in San Francisco, we're going to try to leverage our local business certification um, to help um, small and local business, including some of the larger businesses that are looking to do work in San Francisco. Understanding that there's a local business requirement that uh, sometime between 25% of the work has to be accomplished by local businesses. That allows us to become attractive options for the Accentures and the Oracles who are looking to do major projects uh, in and around San Francisco. So by partnering with us as a local business, it allows them to leverage and meet the goals of the 25% LBE um, goals for the, for the city and county of San Francisco. And it gives us an opportunity to work with those larger companies. And, and who knows, it may, may be an opportunity for us to we reciprocate with some work in the federal space or look at some other opportunities to work together with those large companies. So oh, the large companies have LB uh, requirements? Goals, yes, they're goals that they must meet. But, you know, for contracts, for a lot of contracts here in San Francisco. As an example, we worked with Oracle on um, our proposal at one time. There was a large HNIS system, um, and, you know, there was a 25% goal. So had we won that contract, uh, you know, we've been working side by side with Oracle and been providing a local business perspective. Uh, but there was stiff competition and our team didn't win. But uh, okay. you know, we wanna, you know, we'll try again. Yeah, that's it. the type of opportunities we're looking at. And for small businesses, uh, what kind of service you can provide that will be beneficial to them rather than hire within the company? Yeah, well, you know, our focus has changed a little bit as it relates to small businesses. Right now, you know, because of the, the vast amount of talent that we have and, and the types of projects that we've been successful on, namely um, leading innovation for NASA Goddard in, uh, in Greenbelt, Maryland, as well yeah. as leading, you know, data center consolidation for the USDA, um, you know, that's allowed us to, to retain and acquire some of the best and brightest talent um, in the world. And that uh, doesn't necessarily translate to significant benefit for small businesses because those people obviously aren't cheap um, and they are, you know, we're using them to engineer some real advanced solutions. So that's more attractive to larger companies. So, so again, our, sh our focus is shifting away from small business. Again, we are a small business ourselves, but we've determined that the resources that we provide are most beneficial to those large companies that are looking for the agile type of company like us who can scale up and scale down uh, to meet the needs of the, the, those customers. Oh, I see, I see. It's mostly large companies. Mm -hmm. So, and for medium companies, 250 and up, yeah, those companies are, you know, are, are in a demographic where they may be, you know, obviously working on some state and federal projects or some local projects. And again, the state of California has uh, subcontracting goals for minority business as well as disabled veteran businesses, which is again one of our niche certifications. Um, and the same thing in, you know, in the federal space. So there may be a medium-sized company, if you will, that has a contract, an opportunity to do some work with a federal uh, agency or state and local government agency. And, uh, and they have some subcontracting goals. And, and then moreover, outside of just our certifications, again, you know, we have some of the, the best talent uh, available. So, uh, so we add real benefit and value to, uh, to our business partners. So it's not just the certifications, um, which again, are very helpful. I don't get me wrong, but you know, to be able to bring and deliver the talent, uh, the type of talent that we have, I think is, uh, is exceptional and highly desirable. Okay, thank you.